Oh my god. A TDS update. And guess what? Where is it at? Where is it at? Here. Cryomancer. A brand new tower. Let's buy this bad boy. And oh man, here it is. Let me just like real quick switch my loadout here. And okay, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's just hop into a solo. And here we go on, I don't know, Space City. Let's do an insane map. The reason for this is because I think Cryomancer, check this out, the tower that I just bought as a strange looking face, but not going to judge. I believe this is going to be like a Frost Pyromancer or like the Cryo from TDX. So it's going to shoot a beam of frost that presumably is going to slow down and then freeze the enemies. Also, if you're wondering why I'm kind of talking quietly, that's because TDS decided to update at 11 p.m. on a school day for me. So if you're not liking and subscribing, you, you just have no respect. But hey, I'm not going to force you. Instead, I'm just going to keep farming here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the early game going. Then I'm going to place down this cryo. Looking at it, well, does uh, every 0.2 does something. And I also can see it does no damage. So yeah, I'm not going to get that until, well, I, after I get some normal defense. So I'm about to place down a soldier here. All right, here's the soldier. This is going to defend all the abnormals. And here come speedy enemies, which are probably going to pose a slight challenge. So let's place down this cryomancer here and see what it is uh, capable of. So it has 40 charge. And uh, what I notice it doing is slightly very very slightly slowing down the quick what what the heck did that even like max loan is 50 percent that thing had to shoot for quite a while and it did not slow down those quicks let me upgrade frosty gear here this should make it better at slowing down oh well first of all let's see what happens when this runs out it just reloads okay let's look at that oh that's a lot better that's actually freezing the enemies well it's not freezing them but it's slowing them down oh Look at that. If it targets one, it, it slows it down quite a bit. Yeah, they definitely copied TDX's homework with this one. But hey, I'm not going to complain. I mean, a new tower is a new tower. And by the way, here come the heavies. This will give the cryo a ton of time to attack the enemies. So let's see how much you can slow down these heavies. Uh, I mean, <laughs> whoa, look at that one. That one's like almost completely frozen. But still, I'm struggling, which is uh, no bueno. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip and just get down a mortar. That's going to help out quite a bit in taking out these heavies. Did you just not do anything well okay then uh i also brought mortar because i feel like it would be a very good combo with this uh, cryo thing cryo will hopefully cluster up the enemies and then the mortar is just going to blow them all up you know i feel like these reviews in practice are a little bit more useful than you know just giving you the stats you actually get to see how well this thing does and you get to make your decisions on whether you should buy it or you should grind the event and looking at it right now i kind of like it it's pretty balanced early here i wouldn't say it's as worth it as uh getting some defense but it's not complete useless garbage like Freezer used to be. On this wave, there is a boss, and I do have an accelerator, uh, which I'm going to get down for this boss simply because I want to get down an accelerator. I don't want to have to deal with, well, soldier or whatnot. So there we go. Also, um, let's see if we can even notice the slowdown on the boss. I'm presuming... Oh, wow, we can actually see it quite well. So this thing's actually not going to be all that useless, especially if you have two bosses at the start. I can see that being pretty useful. Now, I do need to farm here because uh, I'm playing on an insane map and I also have no support towers, which is a uh, kind of a uh, super stupid play on my part, but it still should be possible to win. And I'm curious, does this thing get hidden detection anytime soon? Let's get freezing tanks. And uh, no, I don't see it. But yeah, these early upgrades just kind of make it freeze better. Honestly, I think I should get one of these things farther up just so you get to see the effects of it a little better. So let's get frosty gear here. Um, see how good it slows down one of these heavies uh, as the charge runs out. Okay, so it doesn't really bring it to a complete stop. It, it almost does. Let's upgrade freezing tanks. Maybe that'll make the difference. And yeah, that's doing a much better job at freezing. In fact, it's doing damage. I'm guessing what it does is as it slows them down, the more it slows them down, the more damage it does. Either way, let's look at its damage. Oh, it doesn't even show me. This one doesn't show me either. I guess the damage indicator is glitched, but let's not really be too worried about that. This wave, I need to upgrade this accelerator real quick. Come on, get me the money. Okay, got it. That should make the shadows pretty easy. And now here come mysteries. Uh, let's see. Okay, no, this thing just just does damage. I think it's just kind of like a pyro. Of course, we get a boss because it's mysteries. Of course, we get a second boss because it's mysteries. Of course, we get another boss because it's mysteries. And surprisingly, no more bosses. This freeze thing seems like it would be a very good combination with Gladiator, like on a speedrunning map. You get this thing at the front, you get Gladiators, and then it'll just, well, hold the enemies back for your Gladiators to have more time to kill them. Now, this round, this round is not fun. This round has just a ton of mysteries all around. So I think what we should do is get a 
Ice Commando. This thing increases the slowness, the chill slowness, adds damage, larger frost beam, debuff duration. So that means enemies, I think they take damage more and then also slows down the enemies more. And wow, this one is bringing them to a halt. Look at that damage. Yeah, I can definitely see that we're doing more damage than we should. Next one, by the way, is Winter's Fury. Let me just look at it. Enemies now freeze at max chill. So that means, uh, you know, I'm assuming what chill means is just how much the enemies are frozen. So the slower they go, the more chilled they are. Right now, it doesn't completely freeze them. It slows them down a lot, but almost freezes them. So at max, it probably will completely freeze them. Also, it'll hit more enemies and do more damage, which, I mean, it's always nice to have. Well, let's get Winter's Fury here. Oh, that completely froze the Dark Necromancer. I can also see these ticks are going down way less, or maybe that was just for the Necromancer. Here goes the Fallen being completely stopped. And oh my god, look at that. This is actually so useful. I wish it reloaded while it wasn't attacking though. That kind of would be nice. But hey, maybe it's for balancing purposes. Maybe it would have been too OP otherwise. Anyways, I just upgraded Accelerator. Probably going to upgrade this Soldier a bit because there's more Fallens on this round. And I do wonder, if I get a second one of these uh, Ice things, does it freeze them quicker? Well, it's hard to tell. I think when I get a little bit more money, I'll place these at the front and kind of be able to see their effects more clearly. Also looking at how long the freeze lasts, it seems like it's about a second. So yeah, that comes in pretty handy. Now let's see how it'll deal with a bigger enemy like this giant boss here. How much is it gonna slow it down by? Oh my God, it's actually slowing it down quite a significant amount. And I think it brought its defense down as well, like 27, I feel like it usually has a higher amount. Well, here we go, wave 23. I think there's just a bunch of uh, Fallens on this round. So let me max out this soldier. Would you look at that? Just a level 2 cryo on its own can slow down Fallen so much. Now the thing is, this Cryomancer does not have any stealth detection. So it's not exactly good. Also, let's see. Does the amount of damage increase? Uh, I'll look at this accelerator. I'll look at its DPS. And is it doing more damage per shot than 25? I don't know. Just in TDX, for example, when enemies are frozen, they take more damage. Maybe this game did something similar because it says there's like a debuff thing. But all right, here comes a shadow boss on this wave. That's a little bit scary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get down a few more soldiers. Two more soldiers should be fine. And this supercharger accelerator. Oh, the shadow boss actually got caught in the freeze rate of the cryo. So that kind of unintentionally slowed it down, which uh, came in pretty handy. Let me max out a second cryo here and see if they get frozen like instantly. And yeah, they do get frozen pretty quick. And they also do a considerable amount of damage. Now, uh, how many can you place? Let's place down a few more of these at the front. Let's see what their slowness is. Oh my god. Can I just keep placing these? What the heck? They, this, this tower might not have a placement limit. Yo, gang. Yo. Yo. I can, I could just keep placing these. Well, okay then. I guess spam as many as you want. Look at this. <laughs> they're all just being slowed down and they're not even being killed. Let me upgrade these soldiers here because, you know, I, I do kind of like surviving. And by the looks of it, yes, if you do have more of these cryos at the front, they are going to slow down more. I mean, look at that thing. It almost instantly got slowed down a ton. Let me upgrade them all like two times. Yeah, look at this. Oh my god, they just, they just make it one huge cluster. So it is a good idea to have mortars because you can just cluster all of these fallens up and then just pew. I can see some very fun strategies being used with this tower. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is actually so nice. It's so cool to look at as well, just all of these ice beams. Anyways, I'm going to skip here, get down a max level accelerator. I'm kind of curious if we can freeze the tank. Actually, ooh, I'm, I'm really curious about freezing the tank. That's that's usually known as a pretty difficult enemy to deal with. So let's see if these cryos make it easy. Also, when they get in this freeze area, yeah, the, the enemies are pretty easy. Aren't you getting cold just looking at this? And all right, there we go. We have four max uh, cryomancers. We also have one max accelerator for damage. Uh, where's the tank at? Here this man comes. I think he's going to get frozen. Honestly, looking at how well the rest of the stuff is being frozen, I think this tank is going to be no no issue. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at it go. Look at these towers go, man. The tank can't even move. Oh my god, this is like Electroshocker level. Probably even better than Electroshocker. I mean, I think Electroshocker is going to do more damage, but... Yeah, this, this is up there pretty close to Sledger level. At least I think. Sledger did get rebalanced, but I didn't see what the changes were. And I think most importantly, we need to see what these cryos do to the final boss. Because I mean, imagine if these things can slow down the boss, then these are, uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be broken. It's like Jester that can turn around bosses. And just look at this, man. Everything is just completely frozen here. 
Look at how well this is working. All like this cluster right here, when the mortars shoot at it, look at it. Boom. All this damage. It's it's just so nice. Yeah, everything that gets here is just done for. Okay, never mind. A boomer just kinda uh that that wasn't nice. Wow. This might be a little bit OP, I mean. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> With splash damage, yeah, the, the, this is kind of kind of OP. No, 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 no. Oh my god, I almost died. Look at the damage. <laughs> what the heck? This thing's actually strong. Oh god, that thing is strong. Stop it. What a shame. Okay, wait, apparently Cryo can't slow down the bosses, and here's the footage of it. And otherwise, you got to see it completely in action. And if you enjoyed, like, subscribe, use Star Cody, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.